Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome back to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at um, the 2015 uh, May-June IGCSE ICT Paper 2.1. Uh, in a couple of videos, we have dealt with document production and we started looking at data manipulation. And in the last video, we ended on step number 30. Uh, eight, and um, we are supposed to start looking at step number 39 and this is, this is simply just producing an extract of the data which selects only those fields where um, the name of the venue contains the word lake or pond and then um, deb, uh, payment cost 4.5 pounds or less and um, uh, the water is less than six feet deep and uh, it's on, it should only show the fields location venue name and debt payment in this order and then should sort the data into ascending order of debt payment okay so what we're going to do now is again is to create a simple query and um, from the query um, we are going to um, create an extract okay now again the 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 term extract actually gives an idea that you're dealing with queries okay so because you know the a query is meant to extract information from a database of course there are different types of queries you have action queries and you have select queries in this case we have been asked to create a select query because it is retrieving something from the database an action query actually just um, performs an action on a on a database something like adding deleting modifying and so on and so forth okay but in our case we are dealing with select queries and this is why we're going to create an extract this is fairly very simple guys and it should maximize and get the most number of marks with such questions as this okay so you shouldn't even find this very uh, very uh, difficult so to work on okay so um, what I'm gonna do is to just um, close this and start a new query um, query is that simple query and we're going to create based on the table not in the query so on the table we're going to select uh, the fields that we're showing so we need field location we need venue name and we need debt payment in this order so we need location then uh, we're going to get um, venue name and then we need debt payment in this in this in this order debt payment okay then and there is one more field that we're going to use because um, um, let me see this one the water is less than six feet deep okay so we need to find out another query and so this is a depth so we get the depth as well we don't need to show it but we're just going to use it for um, the uh, calculations of the extraction if you want next and next and modify your query and finish so once you have this then we're going to go ahead and extract the data so let's start with the first one it should the uh, the venue should contain lake or pond so venue here it should contain um it should contain lake or pond okay so go ahead and run it um i don't know if i did the right thing <laughs> okay so i didn't do the right thing um and the reason is because i just put the absolute values there uh values rather um so what you need to do is to come back here and um go back to design view and put this in asterisk sign asterisk okay so enclose this in asterisk and enclose this because it's supposed to contain not to be the exact so it's supposed to contain um pond or lake uh, go ahead and run it this time around it should run and it's going to just extract pond um, so you see this one Edison pond then you see burn lake and um, all so on and so forth okay so and you also see lakeside as long as there's something to do with lake it is going to extract so go back to design view um, so we're done with the first one now we need to do a debt permit um, cost 4.5 um, pounds or less so debt permit 4.5 pounds or less here so we say less or equal to uh, 4.5 and run it and you should see that it has extracted something to do with 4.5 or less okay so then the next thing that we're going to do go back to design view and um, go back to the question paper as well and it should be uh, water depth is supposed to be less than six okay so for water depth it's supposed to put less than six so just put less than six run your query again and you should see it should be able to extract this information 
next step we are supposed to show only the fields these ones in this order so which means the other field is not supposed to be shown go back to design view and uncheck this box here for depth it's not supposed to be shown run it and you should see that only these fields are shown select it and just um, resize it and so that it just fits perfectly next we're supposed to sort the data into ascending order of day payment so go back here and go back to design view and um, day permit uh, which is this one so sort the data into ascending order of day payment so just verify that it is actually ascending order so it is ascending order of day permit so done with the instruction and um, run it so you see the query has been um, uh, perfect so it's day payment and it's ascending order so from 3.5 pounds to 4.5 pounds and that should be perfectly fine so done with step 39 step 40 says save this data into a form which can be imported into the document that you saved in step 28 so guys there are many ways that you can save this data um, what they want us is to get I mean a form that can be imported into there so you can save it as um, go to um let me see go to external data and you can save it as a text file or you can save it as a pdf or you can save it as an excel uh, document okay um now because this one is just a table already uh, i'll prefer just saving it as um um saving it as a what saving it as a um so I'll save it as a, an, um, a PDF. Let's try to save it as a PDF and see how it's going to look. Okay, so just put it there and see that it is already as a table. Okay, now if you're using um, a light shoot, it's a very powerful software. Like I said, you can easily extract this table from here. Just crop it like that and paste it into your document. Okay, so this is one way that you can save this. Uh, another way that you can do that actually is to save it as an Excel document. So what you're going to do in this case, um, just close, you come here and save it as Excel and it's going to be saved in that location. So that should be fine and save it as an Excel document. So when you come back um, to that folder, um, you get inside here, you should be able to see an Excel document, uh, which is this one, query to run it. Um, open it and um, I don't know if it's the one if it's the one then it didn't work out <laughs> okay so what you're going to do is that first of all select this table and then export it to Excel so let's go ahead and um, replace it yes and um, come back here and um, run it okay and it didn't again uh, it didn't um, retrieve that information that you need so I don't know for what reason why it didn't retrieve that information um, but um, it is actually supposed to just retrieve this information okay because you're just saving um, the, ex ex the selected data okay so sometimes it could be some pain let's try to see if we save it as a, a text file um, okay so if we save it as a text file it is again going to give us all these fields that we don't need so the best thing guys that i suggest that you do here is that save it as a pdf because already a pdf it, it has shown us that it will just save it as a table so what i need to do now is to just crop this um this table as it is copy it and then come back to um, um the document that we created initially which is this one angling and then we're going to paste the work um just come back here save the data into it can put it okay so import this data into your document as a table after the paragraph which ends starter venue include okay so find some paragraph which ends starter venue include so just say starter um venue okay starter venue include this is where you go so just put your cursor there and um, paste it there and you see that the table actually comes in and fits in perfectly now 
one of the temptation that you find is that um, because they've used the term that uh, you're supposed to import this so you start to wonder now how am i going to import a pdf file into this one where well, you're just supposed to um, to copy that table and paste it here and automatically you see that it actually fits within the margins that you you've done and it looks actually perfectly fine so what you need to do now is to make sure that um, uh, make sure that the only the required field names and data are only visible and that no words are split in the text uh, if the text is wrapped okay so in our case we don't have any text wrapping so this looks uh, perfectly fine uh, okay so um step 30 uh, 42 says spell check and proofread the document and make sure that tables do not overlap um, over two columns or two pages and lists are not split over two columns or pages there are no widows or orphans and then there are no blank pages and there's no um, single um, 11.9 space after uh, rather you should make sure that there should be a single 11 point space after each paragraph so what you can do for space after each paragraph just come back here to paragraph and under space after just add 11 points and um, single line spacing just say okay so it's going to put 11 points uh, after each space and after each heading so then the other thing that you need to do is that uh, there should be space af after each subheading and after the table and after the database extract and um, this is perfectly fine so automatically access has added some space there and it should be fine so the next thing that you're supposed to do is to just do some spell checking um so i don't know where we are let's say um just ignore let me see all your litter uh, ignore um ignore ignore the blue ones guys um better just leave them as they are because they have to do with grammar and um, um you're not here to correct the grammar so the other one is still waters so still water um sometimes it can be just one word so it's still fine um, just leave it as it is ignore and then the other one uh, ignore 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 babel is like that ignore um, ignore so this is bubble uh, bubble fish or babel fish if you want <laughs> okay so um, that ignore 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 and I think most of the stuff here you just have to ignore them um, unless otherwise so that should be perfectly fine next um, step 43 save the document using the same file name and format using step 28 and print the document so in this case we just need to um, click on save so just click on save and the document is ready for printing okay so thank you so much for watching guys this video and um, in the last video I think I'll do just step 44 um, and this will be um, step 44 all the way to step um, 55 or so I'll see if I can do this in one video because I'm really running out of time guys um, my wife told me that I should be home by 1030 and this is just about 1017 so I'm kind of missing um, I have just about 13 minutes to be here so pardon me guys if I record the last video in one sh um, one shot um, so that I don't spend so much time so even if I delay going home um, um, it won't be by a lot of time okay so um, thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to share and comment out and I'll see you in the next video in a short while